What's up guys, Casual Fishing here, bringing you another casual fishing video. And today is another beautiful late fall day here in Oklahoma. It is like, it's like November 20th, I think. I, I can't remember the exact day, but it's like 75 degrees, honestly. And like light winds, which is like unheard of in Oklahoma this time of year. So I was like, you know, it is too good of a day to go fit to not go fishing. So here I'm at a spot that I normally do, I do, I do okay here normally, there's some decent fish here. But I'm going to fish something a little <laughs> differently than I normally do. Let's see if I can pick this up off the ground. This is a Zoom Super Fluke, and this is not something I throw very often, but it seems like whenever I do, I seem to do okay on. So I remember throwing it in the pre-spawn, you know, back in early to mid-March. It did pretty well on it, so. That being said, hopefully I can do well in this pond. And, uh, well, let's just go ahead and roll that intro. I'm excited to go fishing. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, oh god, oh god, oh my god, oh 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 god, All right, guys, here we go. I'm sure you guys uh, recognize this spot. This spot has very clean water. It's not as clean today as I've seen it before. I've, but honestly, I don't really mind that because like it's actually really hard to fish here when the water is like super clean. It's like, you know, when the water is that clean and clear, the fish, you might be able to see the fish, but the fish can also see you. And they tend to be kind of finicky too. So we'll, we'll have to see how this uh, super fluke does. It is in a green pumpkin coloring, which is, you know, pretty good for this type of clear water. So hopefully it'll do all right. I'm sure it'll do all right. Hopefully I can get on some fish. I've been on the struggle bus as of late when it comes to catching fish. I get kind of jealous, you know, I'm seeing a lot of other, you know, jealous is the wrong word, but you guys kind of get what I'm saying. Like, I'm seeing other Oklahoma YouTubers doing pretty well on like chatter baits, spinner baits, jerk baits, and I'm sitting over here on a struggle bus. <laughs> That's all right. Improvise adapt to overcome, am I right? I have some confidence in the super fluke, though. I think he'll get it done. Now, I don't really have a strategy. Well, I, I kind of have a strategy with what I'm doing here. I'm just. You know, tossing out there, kind of tossing out towards the middle. It's kind of, you know, it's what, you know, despite the warm temperatures, you know, the water is pretty cold, so I'm assuming they're probably hanging out deep. And, you know, I'm just letting it sink. Giving it a couple, giving it a twitch or two. Let it sink. Then get another twitch. Let it sink. Roll up your slack. Suck on a brick. It's probably not good for a line. And get another twitch or two. Let it sink. That's kind of how I'm working. I, I, I work it kind of like how you work a, um, like a jerk bait. At least that's kind of how I work a jerk bait. At least, granted, I'm not. I am not a jerk bait expert whatsoever. And someone is texting me. I'll tell you something in a second. But yeah, that, that's that's normally how I use a super fluke or just a fluke in general. And I've done I've done okay on, on flukes in the past before. Every giant bird's nest. What the crap? I'll blame whoever's texting me on that. Two, oh, two big bass. There's cruising. When I say big, probably like two pounds, but like, I'd certainly take that. It's like a bunch of bluegills spook off. I was like, hmm, I bet there's something chasing them. And I was like, two, about two pound bass just cruising along up here. I have to throw on a Ned or something. Just gotta figure out what they're looking for. Oh, I see it. I see a big bass. Or not a big bass, but like a nice one.
Man, I screwed it up. It's just sitting there, man. Oh, look at it. It's, a, it's like a legitimately nice bass. Not even interested. Oh no, you did follow it. I just don't notice me up here, please. I need to start, you know, I need to start working slow or something. Got a follower right there. Just a wee guy though. Got him. Just a little guy though. Just a wee guy. He's kind of a pudgy little guy though. Damn, he's pudgy. He wanted that one. Pliers off for this one. I'll catch you guys here in a second. All right, there you go, folks. Not a very big guy, but pudgy. Very pudgy. He's fattening up for the winter. All right. He's pissed off. Damn. All right. Well, no skunk today, at least. I should not catch that bigger one though. I think that little guy the cast before fall me all the way up. Okay, that's a little weird. Where you at, big bass? There you go, another one. Another wee guy, though. You're not the one I'm looking for, but I'll certainly take you, though. Alright, just another wee guy, but not gonna complain. Almost looks like the last one I caught, but I think that one's old. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that was crazy. That's, fit. that's number two of the day, though. I, think, I don't think that was the same fish. Was, uh, like I said, it was a little skinnier. But yeah, another one for the Zoom Super Flute. And I will say, I think the reason why it's actually doing pretty well is the fact that, like, there's a lot of, like, small bass, like baby bass and bluegills swimming around here. And I'm kind of suspecting that these bass in here are... I think another bite. I think another fish on right there. But I'm suspecting that... That's what these bass in here are feeding on. Because bass are cannibals. They will eat their, their, their young. I highly suspect that uh, if one of these bass in here saw one of the baby bass dying, because this definitely looks like one of the, these baby bass, you know, like, struggling, then I can certainly see why they would be tempted to take a crack at it. That big boil right there. What the heck's going on there? Oh, uh, well, that's great. Well, caught another fish, guys. <laughs> he came up, like, I was, like, reeling it back in. I was, like, lifting up out of the water, and this guy came up and ate it. Gosh, freaking damn it. That was an epic eat. That a nice fight, too. Oh, well. All right, thanks for playing, dude. Get back in there. He destroyed my lure, though, man. He destroyed it.
that's the one we're looking for. Oh my god, there's another bigger one chasing it. Oh my god, that's like a four it's like a four pound bass chasing it. No, you're coming in here. Oh man. That's the one I was chasing right there, folks. And the crazy thing is there was an even bigger one following it. Oh man. There literally was a bigger one following it. Oh wow, let me get some pictures real quick. Man, I don't know if you guys are solid or not, but there was a much larger fish in this chasing it. That's a good freaking fish. Let's get away. I'm going to guess probably two and a half or so. It's not super well built. But I ain't going to complain. This is definitely that one I've been seeing swimming around here. Remember I said two and a half? Or I said two and a quarter, I don't remember. But two, five, five, that's a, that's a pretty good fish though. I'm right, get some more pictures and I get, get, a, get a release on this guy. All right, even out long enough. Let's get a release. Good fish. Swim off big guy. That's uh, definitely the biggest fish of the, the month so far. <laughs> I'm not, not really saying much, but... I didn't catch the one that was following it. I doubt me willing to eat, but... Got him that time. I already caught you today. Not too sure, honestly. Yeah, maybe not. This one's a little longer. You the one that keeps eating my lures over there? Hey. Bless you, resist. More likely I'm gonna get you unhooked to eat quicker. Get you back in the water faster, okay? There you go. Jacked up my lure, my fluke, though. Hey, another small but pudgy little guy. One of the things I should change might have caught this guy already, but we'll see. It doesn't matter. It's fish number five today. Uh, is there any salvaging this fluke? Let's see here. Alright guys, I decided to return to the pond that I hold on a second. I know that's over. I'm gonna get another backlash. But what I'm trying to say is I'm I decided to return to the pond that well I originally came out here for. Now if you guys probably I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the pond I was just fishing at. Once I get this backlash out, I have the worst luck with backlashes. How much of the deal with that is? I think it's this cross when you go in here. So, anyways, that pond I was just fishing is actually right over that little hill right there, if you want to call it that. And I, 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 was, I kind of figured, I was like, you know, I'll go and go over there, cast a few times. It's like, like that spot where that tree's at right there. There's normally make a few fish over there, and I've done some sight casting there before. And I was like, maybe, maybe I'll catch one or two one two fish and then I mean the real thing that kept me over there was I kept seeing those two to three pound bass just lurking around there doing their thing I was like ooh I gotta stick around here and it paid off caught that two and a half pounder and four dinks one of whom I'm pretty sure I've caught I caught twice but <laughs> we have to acknowledge that do we so yeah back back to the original plan There we go. This is a crappie. That was some serious deja vu. <laughs> Are you the same one? Are you the same one I caught a couple in this, this last video I just posted? Good grief, the size of that thing. I was just thinking in my head, what if I caught that crappie again? <laughs> That's a slab. Didn't I just catch like a month and a half ago? Good grief, guy. You know what? I'm not gonna make the same mistake here. I'm gonna weigh you this time. Oh man, that's hilarious. I just posted a video about catching the little guy. 
You got that little eye. You're a pretty big dude. I mean, he actually might not be the same fish, but tough to say. It's gonna wait, anyways. I'm curious. One point oh five. Oh, one oh three. Oh, come on, get Sean coming, dude. You shrunk on me. What? Okay, it's, it's, it can't make up its mind. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zero this real quick. Let's right, try this again. Dang it! Now yeah, you're on the small side. Four eight three. All right, you know what? That's all right. And now it's in a pound. You know what? I'm just gonna call it like point nine or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's still slap here. See you later, Junior. Kind of wonder if that's the same one or not. I'll have to look back at the footage, which is hilarious. I just posted the video of me catching a big crappie out of this pond. That's hilarious. That's freaking hilarious. Almost the same exact spot, too. It's funny. Some serious deja vu right there. All right, guys, I'll be off for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If indeed you have up to this point, really appreciate it. If you have, um, I, I may have mentioned this in the intro, but I am filming the I filmed the intro and am now currently filming this outro on the GoPro because I forgot to charge the batteries on my big camera, as usual. Wouldn't be in a casual fisherman video without me screwing up something, am I right, boys and girls? If there's any out there. Anyways, that being said, didn't really screw up that much today, though. Caught five bass, including one that was about two and a half pounds, and that <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had about a three and a half pounder chasing it while I was really that thing in, so that was definitely pretty awesome. And I caught uh, a pretty sizable black crappie, which might have been the one I caught a couple months ago. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, overall, really productive day of fishing. Really happy with how the Zoom Fluke performed today. I really should have started. I really need to throw this bait a lot more often. It's, it's a bigger time I do. I end up producing some pretty nice numbers. So definitely feel like it's something I need to start throwing more often. And if you guys don't throw the, the Fluke, you guys probably should. Anyways, that being said, I'm going to call it a night here. The front has rolled in. The fishing has died off. And yeah, I'm just kind of tired. You know, overall, pretty productive day. No need to keep going fishing. I feel like I can call it a day and be pretty happy. Plus, you need to go watch the Mandalorian, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, you guys enjoyed this point. Keep it casual, folks.